Hello everyone, welcome back to the Empyrean Galactic Survival Re-14-2 Beta Test. In today's episode, we are going to get off Alpha, uh, we're not planning on we are Alpha 2 for now. We'll come back and explore some more. But in the output of the Wayfarer, there is 48,008 coin dollar rues. We're going to go to the trade station in Akua and do some trading. And yeah, well, that's what we're going to do. And then we're going to take off and we're going to go find a shipyard. You're trying to think to yourself, why do you need a shipyard? Because I want to show you how much loot you can get off the shipyards. Hopefully it doesn't take us too many jumps to find one. But first we have to go back to Akua and to go to Kennex Station. So let's go back to Akua. There is no Kennex Station in this place. Raider Rack? Huh. Wonder if it's a trap. Probably a trap. Alright. We locked a cure, right? Yeah, down this way. No, it's up that way. All right. Okay. You know what? We haven't found any auto miner cores. Hmm. Let's put on cruise control. I'm just thinking here. Um, there is a zero X ship here. Oh, that way somewhere. Um, about the shipyard. Those are Polaris drones. Cool. They look nice. Cool. Different variety of drones. That's what I love about Reforge Eden. Two. The different varieties of ores you can collect and whatnot. Kennex Station coming into view. Ooh, another Prometheus Master right We'll be mowing those asteroids down eventually. Right, let's go to the landing pad here. I know I shouldn't sell the bridges, but I need the money. We can always get bridges again. I think it's already been 24 hours. I mean, we could probably go run those POIs on Akua again. If we really felt like it. I'm going to keep the motor running. I am going to grab the... Bridges in the Matrix Seas out of here. I'm going to keep the small ones for now. But the bigger ones, um, I'm going to sell. Put our money in the bank here. 48,000 credits. We're going to make a lot more here in just a second. He buys a lot of advanced electronics. Advanced upgrade kit. He only has one of those. Large optometry trick page. Large optometry trick matrix. All right, he wants four thousand for a power coil. It's expensive. 
All right, we got money. We got pentaxes in the tank. Let's go. Time to find a shipyard. And if you're wondering where you'll find a shipyard, you will find them in K-class systems. And I hope we find one right away because we don't have really a lot of pentaxid to waste. But it's okay. We could waste some now. Now that we have like 400. Alright, so which K system is closest to us right this second? Um, there's that one. Let's go over there and see if, what's there. Voyage of Discovery until we find a shipyard. We gotta go get rid of that marker eventually. We gotta get away from Kinnick Station in order to work. There's a distance range. There we go. We're out of range from it. Alright, come on, shipyard. No. No shipyard. Alright. Let's go over to this K4 planet. Like I said, it's a matter of just hunting it down. Once we find one, we'll uh, be having fun with it. I'm hoping that um, the ships haven't changed yet. Look at all these solar flares coming off this sun. Crazy. Looks promising, looks promising. Nope. No shipyard. And right, we need to head back towards our rendezvous point here. So we're going to backtrack to this cave planet. Trying to stay in the starter sector just in case we need Pentaxid. Nope. No shipyard here. I'm just zooming out real quick. Alright. No shipyard there. Hope I'm going to the right planets here. <laughs> Personally, K-class planets. We're going to have to warp back to the beginning here in a second. Because we'll be out of warp fuel. Actually, hold on. Let's see if we can make some warp fuel. Actually... Go into the Omni Pentaxid tank. No, the wood chop. No, no. Well, the wood chopper has wood in it. Let's just throw that over there real quick. The POI Buster Pentaxid tank. We have another 57 we can put in there. Our 51 player Wayfarer con in. Do I have any raw Pentaxid? Let's just look in the constructor. It's easier that way. Make bridges and matrices now. Yeah, we have no raw pentaxid. So we're limited on how many jumps we can do. This one's only 9.1 light year. I'm going to test this theory. It should give us 10 light year or 10, use up 10 light years. I used up 30 pentaxid when it was on maybe it was only 30 or 10 all right come on shipyard 
Yes, we found one. Let's go. <laughs> we found one, we found one. Let's go. As soon as I figure out where my uh, arrow is being pointed at. Did I lock target? Didn't I? There it is. All right. Get my feet positioned ready. Here we go. We're warping in. And we're going to bling. And that's where we want to head for. The big old sign that says <laughs> Grap Yard. Ideally, there's two things we're looking out for when we're doing this. We're looking for bridges. Or not bridges, but CPU extenders. And drills. Do 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 do. Be good to me, Scrapyard. Can't see the scrapyard yet. Turn off our auto brake and coast in. Alright, ideally what we're looking for is it to pop in place here. Here it is, they're popping in. Are we really lucky on our ship selection? Or are we just going to be... Hey, we don't want that one. Don't want that one above us, or that one. Oh wow, we might actually have a crummy shipyard. Let me get take a look at this one right here. Maybe this is one chip that we can get the CPU extenders off of. I need an EVA boost. Or an insulation boost, I should say. Uh, let's go take a look at this ship. We may have found a crummy shipyard. Let me out. I'm up. Thank you. I want to see what this ship looks like. It's the one with the CPU extenders in it. Well, it has two laser cannons right off the top. What else does it have? Does it have any drill lasers? Drills. I'm looking for drills. That's what I'm looking for right now. There's an opening here. Let's go in here. Well, if I can actually hit the door here. What is up in here? Cargo boxes, wireless controller, nothing really up here in this area other than some thrusters. What are these, by the way? Laser cannon, okay. Got a couple thrusters we can take apart. Or take. 
Not very many of them. There's a big thruster right here. Hmm. What's this one got on it? If you're wondering what I'm looking for, I'm looking for laser drills. Wow. Why would anybody pay 50 grand for this piece of junk? <laughs> I mean, there's got to be something in here worth that much money. What's that? A new ventilator? There's a, um, advanced constructor. I mean, I guess if you didn't have an advanced constructor, you could get one here. All right. This ship is rubbish. Let's go check this other one out. Yeah, Raven, this one right here, buddy, needs some love. <laughs> like, added thrusters. Well, I guess it has the the two thrusters on the side over here, if you were desperate need of thrusters. But uh, are they worth 40 grand, 40 grand for three thrusters? Mm. I don't know. I'm aware of my rats, by the way, if you're wondering. Too bad this one doesn't have drills on it. Wish you could ping menu these and see what's in them. I don't see any laser drills. Uh, let's go back to our ship and rinse off our rads real quick. And then... We'll go look at the other ships real quick. Alright, so we looked at all these ships. Hmm. What's this one? Let me go look. Ideally, we were looking for two yellow ones. I think this one might have the CPU extenders in it or a drill turret. We'll see her in a second. We'll look over the ship real quick. It's got thrusters. Don't you got a lot of ship shopping? <laughs> Yeah, I'm not seeing anything in here that, uh, I mean, what's in here? Thrusters. I can't get up there without going up the elevator. Hmm. There's a loot barrel. Now oh, that just leads back out. Hmm. If I was laser turrets, where would I be in this bad boy? I don't think they're there. Let's go back to the ship and look for the one I want. We might actually have to warp out of here to find another shipyard. We'll mark the shipyard just to be on the safe side just in case we don't find what we're looking for. Just so we can come back and say, okay, we just need to take these apart. There's a couple of ships up there. What's this one? Oh, hold on. Is this... Does this one... Is the one that had the CPU extenders in it? I can't remember. Nah, it's too dinky to have the CPU extenders in them. <laughs> Alright, this scrapyard was a bust. Not really any good chips to write home about here, so we're gonna warp out of here. 
but uh, before we do, let me mark the area. Alright, so map. There's a K6 over here. We have 400 light years that we can go right now. Where's my other marker at? It's this way. It's where the shipyard marker is. Over that way a little bit? Right there. There it is. Alright, let's go. Mm, warp. Kind of a bummer I didn't find the ship that I wanted. Are we going to have a second chance at it? Nope. Alright. So the starting system is right there. We can go over to that K5 plant. Over here. I'm looking for the arrow here. <laughs> Make sure it's not in the sun area. That's the cow, a scrapyard. That's our home starter system. Right there. Okay. Alright, what's this one got? Absolutely nothing. Alright. Trial and error here, everyone. We'll find a planet that says that there's another script yard somewhere. There's a K4 system back this way. Come on, be a scrapyard, please. A good scrapyard. Survey says... No. <laughs> ah, bummer. Alright, where's the starting system? We have to actually work back there. <laughs> because we're out of Pentaxid. Well, we'll be out of Pentaxid here in a second. Let me warp over here, and then we'll warp back to the starting area. Is there... There's nothing here in the sun, so if we get stuck at a sun, we're going to be cheating in some pentaxid. It says 18 light years, right? But... It takes up, like, almost 80 pentaxid, refined pentaxid, to warp to it. That's ridiculous. Our last hope here. Nope. Back to the starter zone to get pentaxid. Trying to figure out where the starting zone is here. Starting system is back that way. Where's Alpha? Hmm. How many light years away is that? It doesn't say. <laughs>
We didn't go that far away from the starting zone, did we? It's right here somewhere. Is that the starting planet way back over that way? Let's just look on our map for what we need here. We'll see how many light years we are away from it. We have 139 light years where we can go. Which means we can warp one more time. That's too far away, so we need to warp two more times in order to get where we're going. Hmm. Is there anything at this sun? There is. Where? You can never get stopped at a sun. There's usually a Polaris building. Let's put their auto brake on and coast here. We should be able to buy Pentaxid from this place. We just got to make sure we have at least 50,000 left over from getting Pentaxid. I think it's 85,000 for every 500. But don't quote me on that just yet. Survey satellite. That is not what I wanted. If this is a survey satellite, I don't know. I thought there was a Polaris Megacorp thing here. We'll coast over here and find out if it's another satellite. Not in range yet. <clears throat> Excuse me. Looks like I, I'm in the need of... Come on. Thought we were close enough to it by now. I think it's 10 kilometers that you have to be in within. I'm hoping this is a trade station that I can buy some taxes so we don't have to go back to the starting zone just yet. While I'm coasting here. Is there a crystalline moon here? Crystalline moon. Right here. Number two. Let's lock target. I'll show you how to get some pentaxid from the crystalline moon. It's pretty simple. I would like a shielded ship, so we're probably going to take the POI buster out. So, now another survey satellite. Uh -huh. Okay, so... Where's the crystalline moon so I can show them how to get pentaxid? If there's any pentaxid on there. <laughs> we might be out of luck. <laughs> Where's the marker at? It's down this way. We might just get lucky and pick up a thousand or something pentaxid crystals. That or find a trade station there. Alright, we're looking for moon number two. Let's go out this way real quick. Make sure there's nothing following us. We want moon two. I think that's moon too. Yep, we want that one. We want the blue one. I'll show you how to get a little bit of pentaxid if it, if this is a good 
good moon. Usually there's crystals on the ground that you can mine up. Oh, that's right. I have to have a miner. Hmm. Now I'm in a dilemma here. I need a miner in order to gather it up. Maybe I can do it with a laser drill. And maybe it's not going to be too bad. Because normally on crystalline moons you see a whole bunch of sentry guns. Landing in an area on one of these planets is rare. I'm hoping there's not going to be tons of Xerox everywhere. If there's Xerox everywhere, we're, we're kind of hosed. I'll land on the equator just to be on the safe side. Because we only have a compact shield. And I want to know what I'm running into. You know what? Same for the center of the planet. Maybe that would be a good spot to land. Come on, baby. Be good to me. I need some contaxes so I can keep warping around. So that I can... Find a shipyard that I want. We just need one ship to to give us two laser drills, and then we can go to town mining out late asteroids. Actually, while we're coasting here. Now we're coming in hot. What's it going to be? Right over Xerox territory. Don't fire at me. <laughs> Taking some shield damage here. Yeah, you just mow down all those dudes. This is the planet that we're going to find and taxing on. Can't tell the ground's not rendering in properly. There's the large fires here. need to make friends with the Xerox. Because <laughs> they're everywhere. I don't see the little crystals on the ground that I'm looking for. So we kind of don't get to go here. Crystalline moons are really hostile with Xerox presence, by the way, if you're wondering. All right, we're going to make a chance for you. I'm looking for the starter system here. There's Epsilon. How far are we away from Epsilon? 38 light years. How far are we away from Alpha? 48 light years. 34 light years. So we have to jump back to this plane in order to get to Alpha. And that's 33. Now we're way out here in the distance. What about this one? 
Lock target, 36. I guess we're just going to have to bite the bullet and go to one of the G stars that are close to us and see if there's any pentaxid there. Already been to the K6 planet. There was nothing there. G3. Uh, Alright, so... While I'm thinking about it, I'm wondering if I could find a Polaris building to give me some Pentaxid. And then I won't worry about Pentaxid for a little bit. All right, here we go. Our last warp fuel. We have no more warp fuel. And we're out of sun, so. All right, so we need some pentaxid. And that doesn't have pentaxid on it. That has no pentaxid. That has no pentaxid. Am I looking at the right thing here? Let's see here. It has four pentaxid asteroids near it. Four, huh? That's easy. Let's go over there and grab some pentaxid, shall we? 2.1 AU. Here we go. We're lost in space, by the way. <laughs> no way home. Now, and I want the Pentaxid asteroids. Show up for me real quick. Pirates, Polaris manufacturer. I did say there was Pentaxid here, right? Yeah. Oh, there's already two showing up on the radar. Where? Down this way. And taxi that's right. Gotta watch out for shit. Ideally we wanna see a good asteroid, but I don't think they're in the game anymore. Make sure there's nothing sneaking up on us here. This would be a pentaxid asteroid as meager as it looks. We're just going to get close enough to it and we're going to draw, draw our drone out. Keep an eye on the radar. F4. I need a drill please and some drill charges. We can take the mechanical drill off. Where's the drill charges at? Drill charges. Right, let's playing real quick. I don't think anything around us. Okay, let's take a shot at this. We have to grab this from <laughs> Alright, so we want to go out the door here. And up the ramp. Alright, let's... Bring our drill out. Reload it. Give me all the good juicy pentaxin. 
So we can warp around some more. Alright, I'm going to mine out these pentaxid asteroids. But this is where I'm going to call this video, everyone. I do hope you have enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure you storm that like button. And if you're new here, subscribe for more daily videos. Okay, everyone. Take care. Bye-bye. Thanks to all my Patreons and YouTube subscribers.